Hi, my name is Billy Turnbow with Cisco TAC. In this video, I'm going to show you how to recover from a DB replication failure in I am in presence. If you haven't already done so, please refer to the first video in this series called Understanding DB Replication on I am in Presence. As you can see, I have just completed some diagnostics in my presence environment. This should be done before attempting a DB replication rebuild. Once everything looks fine from diagnostics, then we can proceed with the repair of DB replication. Depending on your presence version, you will have the option to rebuild replication. In my 11.5.1 version, I have the rebuild option. If you do not, there is a series of steps that need to be done in a particular order to reset replication. I will explain this later. But for most current configurations, you will only need to enter one command from the presence publisher. utils db replication rebuild all. This command will carry out a process of stopping the DB replication setup, dropping the replication database, and resetting the replication. This command can take a few minutes to complete, but the replication process can take several hours to carry out. It is recommended to perform a DB replication rebuild outside of production hours to avoid any database changes. Once the rebuild command completes, we can use the runtime state command again to check the status. We can check this on both nodes to verify it from both sides. Right now, we are waiting for this to start on the subscriber. You can see as we continually check status that the replication state is changing and the replication is progressing. The publisher is showing the setup is completed. But nothing yet on the subscriber. Now we can see sync status as the tables between the publisher and subscriber are replicated. And the subscriber shows a status of zero, indicating initialization. I will allow this to continue for some time and then check again. After about 30 minutes, this replication rebuild is complete and we have a status of two setup completed, indicating healthy replication on both nodes. This was quick in my small lab, but replication can take several hours in a large production environment. Now, if you do not have the rebuild command, the same steps will have to be done manually. It is a somewhat easy but slow process. Here it is. On the subscriber, you start with utils db replication stop. You wait for the prompt to come back. And then on the publisher, utils db replication stop. Then you wait for the prompt again. Then on the subscriber, utils db replication drop admin db. Again, waiting for the prompt to come back. And then finally, utils db replication drop admin db on the publisher. Again, waiting for the prompt to return. As you can see, most of the time is spent in waiting for each server to complete the steps. Once they are complete, the final command will perform the reset. This is utils db replication reset all. As with the rebuild command, this process begins initialization and the runtime state command can be used to periodically check the progress. Obviously, if you have the rebuild option, this is the preferred method. Now, if these steps do not result in a recovered replication state, there might be more issues that need further exploration and you may want to involve TAC at that point. But a good majority of the replication issues can be resolved with these simple steps. Please check the Cisco video portal for more Jabber and Presence tips. Thank you for watching.